Our journey begins in Mandalay, the second largest city. Brave the chaotic traffic and find a motorbike taxi to cruise you around for the day. On the other side of this moat, you'll find the Royal Palace. Built in 1861 by King Mindan, it was destroyed in World War II and recently renovated. While there isn't a whole lot to see here, the views from atop the tower make it worth a visit. Next, head to Sandamuni Pagoda. It was built as a memorial to King Mindan's half-brother, Crown Prince Kanong, who was assassinated by two of the king's sons. Nearby, you'll find the similar Kutho Da Pagoda, site of the world's largest book housed in over 700 stupas. From here, get some exercise by climbing Mandalay Hill. It's a long way to the top, but at least you're in the shade. Check out a huge Buddha and take in the views. The next day, visit the Mahamuni Temple. You may see a Shinbu ceremony going on. This is for young men about to enter the monastery. Speaking of monasteries, you can visit one in Amarapura. It's a bit of a spectacle now with all the photo-snapping tourists, including visiting monks. After lunch, head to Sagang. Your local guide will take you to a few more temples and pagodas. Here, you can learn more about Buddhism and the history of Myanmar while enjoying the spectacular views. A short boat trip brings you to Inwa. Here, a horse-drawn carriage can take you to see ancient pagodas, a teak wood monastery, a brick monastery, and a leaning watchtower. End the day at Ubain Bridge, a popular place to take in the sunset. Pay about a dollar and jump in the back of a local truck for a ride to Pian Win. This former British hill station is a great place to visit for a few days. Jump in a carriage and head to the beautiful botanical gardens. It's the perfect spot to spend an afternoon. There's even an aviary here, and you can head to the top of this tower for great panoramic views. Aside from the garden, you can also stop by an old British hotel, a Hindu temple, plenty of Buddhist temples, and some nice outdoor markets. Moving along, take one of the world's greatest train rides. Get a cheap seat to have a more authentic local experience. It's not comfortable, but it sure is interesting. The highlight is the crossing over an impressive viaduct. Get off the train in Sipa, a quiet town on the river. Here, you can visit the former palace of a Shan prince and his Austrian bride. Hear their amazing and tragic story from a family member who watches the house. Exploring on bicycle, there are also a few temples you can visit here in Sipa. A short hike will take you to a hilltop temple. People like to gather here in the evenings to snap silly photos and take in the sunset. In Sipa, you should pay a visit to the legendary Mr. Book. You can join in multi-day treks here, or you can just explore the countryside on your own. See how people live in rural Myanmar on a nice, peaceful stroll. Try to plan your visit at the time of the Baguio Pagoda Festival. This is an important festival in the Shan state, and many people will come here and stay a few days. It's part sacred religious ceremony and part week-long party. There's tons of tasty food, fun games, shows, and lots of beer. Our next stop is one of the most popular tourist destinations, Inle Lake. Hire a boat and head out to see the floating villages. You'll spot local fishermen, visit a few workshops, wander through a bustling market, and see a temple packed with monks. Stick around and head out on a three-day trek of the surrounding villages. Get off the tourist trail and see the real Myanmar. Make friends with the children, who are always excited to see foreigners. Stay in small villages, enjoy family-style dinners, and crash on the floor. It's a great few days walking around, seeing things like bullocks carts, and simply enjoying nature. A boat will take you back to town at the end. Before leaving, make sure you visit the Red Mountain Estate Winery. 
Sit back, relax, and sample their tasty wines with a front row seat for a gorgeous sunset. In the evening, you should check out a traditional marionette show. From Inle Lake, head to Pagan. This ancient city was capital of the Kingdom of Pagan from the 9th to 13th centuries. Rent a bike and explore the area on two wheels. There's so much to see that it's worth it to stick around for a few days. You'll see plenty of monks and an elaborate procession for another Shinbu ceremony. Sunrise at Bagan is also a must. The final stop of the trip is the former capital city, Yangon. Try to figure out the public transport if you dare, or wander around the city on foot. Take in the old architecture, wander around the lake, have afternoon tea at the Strand, peruse some markets, see a Chinese temple, and hang out in the park around the Independence Monument. At night, head to the stunning Shuedigan Pagoda, the most sacred site in all of Myanmar. Spend a few hours here and take in this incredible experience. On your last day, jump on the circle train around the city. It's busy both on and off the train, as vendors sell all kinds of snacks, drinks, and produce. End the trip with a traditional Burmese meal in a popular local joint. Feast on lots of veggies, curries, and soup. And have a beer. You've earned it.